Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Vegas. In today's video, I am going to show you that how to turn your Windows 11 into a clean macOS style desktop completely free and step by step, we will add macOS style theme, macOS style icon pack, macOS style dock and macOS style wallpaper as well. In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how to set up the dock, set up the theme and set up the icon pack. Stick around, I will show you exactly how to do that for free. Let's dive in. In this tutorial, I am going to show you that how to get that macOS look on your Windows 11 computer. First thing first, we have to create a restore point before you do anything with your system. It is always a good practice to create a restore point. If anything goes wrong, you can revert your system using this restore point. Restore point has been created. Now we have to ready our system for using custom themes. So we are going to use this software called Securex theme tool. Unzip these files and cut this folder into C drive and paste it here. Then open this folder. Here you can see this theme tool. Just right click on it and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes. Then you will see an interface like this. Just check these two boxes and then click on install. It will require reboot. I already installed it. I am not going to install it again. So after reboot, I will show you that how to install the theme. Unzip these theme files. Go to this theme folder. And here you can see this Windows 11 theme. Just copy these theme files and go to this PC go to local disk C go to windows and go to resources and go to this theme directory and paste it here and then go to this PC local disk C and open the Securex theme tool again and right click on this theme tool and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes okay now in here you need to select that theme and then click on apply so it will apply the theme, theme has been applied, here you can see the theme has been applied. Now we need to use this software called start all back, double click on it, then click on run and then click on install for me and after that you will see a pop up like this, just close it, right click on taskbar and then click on properties and turn off this taskbar and click on restart now and then click on start menu and then turn off it as well and then go to this explorer tab and in here you need to select this windows 7 command bar and then close it okay now we need to apply the icon pack to apply the icon pack first we have to go to this 70s icon pack folder and rename this icon pack and remove this remove text and now we need to use this tool called 7tsp right click on it and unzip these files and open this folder and we need to rename it as well and then right click on it and then run it as administrator and then click on yes And then click on add custom pack and go to this mac os theme folder mac os theme and here you can see the 70 s icon and select that icon pack okay now click on start and then click on yes so it will take some time to complete the process i'll be right back after completing this installation 
Okay, installation has been complete. Click yes to reboot your computer. So icon pack has been applied. Here you can see this new icon pack. Now we are going to set up the dock. You can use the dock finder as well but uh, you have to pay for this uh, i'm making this video for free so i'm using this nexus dock you can use my dock finder instead of this nexus dock double click on it and then click on nexus setup and then click on run and then click on yes and install it So installation has been complete just uncheck this and then click on finish now click on taskbar and go to taskbar settings and go to taskbar behavior and automatically hide taskbar now we need to extract this folder called macOS doc for windows just extract these files go to this folder and copy these dock icons into C drive and copy this dock theme go to documents go to winstep and go to nexus and go to background and paste it here now double click to open nexus dock just right click on it click on nexus and go to preference and then go to advanced tab and then click on restore and go to this macOS dock for windows and select this backup file and then click on apply and go to this theme And here you can see this macOS light just select that theme and then click on apply and then click on ok okay so dock has been applied now we need to add some blur effect to add some blur effect we need to use these tools called blur mica right click on it and extract these files and copy this folder into C drive and open this folder and here you can see this register file just right click on it and then run it as administrator then click on yes and then click on ok and go to this folder and go to this release folder and go to this config folder and we need to make some changes here here you can see this show line true make it false click on file and then save okay done now we need to change our minimize and maximize button right to left to do this you have to open this macOS theme folder and go to extras folders and here you can see this left sider just double click on it and that's it Okay, now we need to add the menu bar. To add this menu bar, we need to install rain meter. Now, for top menu bar, we have to install this rain meter. Double click on it and then click on OK. And then click on Next and install. And then click on Yes. And then click on Finish. And here is some default stains. Just right click on it and unload this. And then double click this drop top. And then click on Install. Okay, and then you will see a pop up like this. Just click on continue and then click on yes. And in here, you need to choose your language, then click on continue. And you can choose here all I show drop top, or you can choose desktop only. And then, if you using this theme on desktop, just select desktop, or using laptop, just select, select laptop. So I would like to select desktop and then click on continue.
and then select macOS and then click on maybe later and then click on finish setup okay now we need to change this icon just right click on it and set home icons choose any of them which one you would like to and that's it i hope you like this video if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and stay tuned i'll see you in the next customization video